Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Throne Breaker The Witcher Tales. We're still going around Lyria uh, as uh, Queen Meave herself, so the, uh, the fearless Queen Meave from the books. And we're, uh, we just killed a few ghouls. Many trees we've Let's talk a bit to uh, this guy. So, take whatever your heart desires. Okay, thank you, my they man. They call themselves strays. Well, we'll treat them like strays. Okay. Build a bridge, brick by brick, a one, a two, the pillar grows thick. Oh yeah, the songs. Bandits here. Not surprising neither, for we'd chase them off with our hatchets, we would. <laughs> build a bridge, okay. brick by brick, a one. There we go. Let's get the wood from this nice man. Kind of looks like a mobile game on in that front, but uh, on that account, but yeah, fair enough. Discovering signposts and not the ability to fast travel. Okay. There's more stuff over here. And that seems to be it. And now we're on the next village. There we go. And this village is called... Well, it's not called fast travel. We don't get... Yeah, just main quest. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go in. And then, let's talk to this old man. The masks they wear. Have you seen them? They fangs, snouts, horns, like a right proper nightmare. Yeah, indeed, they have a nice outfit. You. Thrash them bandits, please. Scared to step out into me own fields, I am. To raise an hand against the queen. These owls own nothing sacred. No, I did. Thank you for listening to this tired bag of bones. Folk haven't lent it here to old Poppy in a long while. Please take this for the road. Ooh. Yeah, gold. Thank you. Thank you, old man. To raise an hand again. Yeah, we got that. Okay, <laughs> sorry, old man. Let's, uh, let's just uh, move on because I am the queen. The queen. And we're going to just recruit a few guys over here. There we go. That's seven more dudes. We're at 55 again. And then, what's happening over here? Soon, Queen and retinue arrived at Hawksburn. The men stationed there they found standing at attention, baking under the blistering noonday sun. Your Majesty, Count Caldwell. Stand at ease, Sergeant. And report. The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. Expect they might have lent the bandits aid. Yet our courtesy hadn't inspired them. They haven't peeped a word. Might it please Your Grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose for him, should have him jabbering right quick. I'll speak to them first. Indeed. Your Majesty, for the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. Whom for? I shan't be stripped of crown and titles for it, so no impediment do I see. Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign, Her Majesty, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Her mercy, Your Grace. We bear no guilt, we simple folk. Calm your heart, you've nothing to fear. Speak, tell me all now or else. Calm your hearts, good folk. Though your queen I may be, you are subjects, not slaves. Meave extended a hand, the royal ring gleaming upon it. Unfamiliar with protocol, a pleb gripped it firmly and gave it a shake as hearty as a good scrub in the tub. My... We shall be addressing one another by name afore long. This is an outrage! Guards! Grab him! I've all in hand, Caldwell. Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm not accustomed, no. Nonsense. You've a firm grip, a spry handshake and a bold spirit I can respect. What do they call you, man? Helmer. Son of Florence. Delighted, Helmer. Now understand me, man. I am in dire straits and in need of your aid. So please, answer my queries in full and forthrightly. The bandits, whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. The Duke my, of Dogs? A blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? That recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. Milady, I'll be no higher for the Duke. 
He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Your Grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? The choices you make will have consequences. Some may be felt immediately, while others take time. Choose carefully. Press the men into service and set the women free or whip some sense into them. I mean, he helped us out. We got information from him, so definitely not whipping. And then press the men into service they might not want to. And we got a bit of troops from this village already, so let's just leave, leave them, them be. be. The harvest draws close. Hard work. They'll have their hands full. Oh, my lady. Thanks be to you. Thanks be. I pray Mother Melita lay watch over your kind heart. Pray she watches over yours. Should I oh, hear of wow. sheltering bandits again, There goes the morale. Lying to my officers, I shall return and put torch to every hut, field and orchard. Understood. Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mouth knocking the peasants aside as it kicked up a cloud of dust. The folk of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. So, that was an interesting choice because now my morale is totally boned. The soldiers didn't like that because it's... Ooh! There's a chest up there. Um, so that's probably for later on because I can't get to that. Yeah, I need to go through probably Lord Clayton's estate to get to that thing. So let's check out the notice board. I can't talk to these people because those were the two people we just talked to. Notice boards are a great source of information about what's happening in the area. Clicking on them will cause markers to appear in your regional map. Showing you where to find places of interest. There we have a puzzle piece and a point of interest. Fair enough. What, what else do we have? Rumored? Bandits attacking royal tax collectors. In broad daylight. They shall pay dearly, your grace. They shall indeed. And not only they. Rot has crept into Lyria, Reynard. My kingdom has been poorly kept. My kingdom has been poorly kept, so that means she's probably not happy with what her son has done. So, let's talk to this poor man. Your Grace, two of your subjects humbly request aid. Yarplek and Wilmer, they called themselves. Seems a wagon axle snapped and they need to hurry to the market. What are your orders? Summon the camp overseers, have them see what can be done. Or a few pieces of gold should suffice and that can actually boost up the morale. So, yeah, there we go. We're back at neutral morale, so that should be enough for now. There is a cave down there. So there are actually enterable areas here as well. Seen the stuff down there, but let's just quickly check. Ooh. My queen, a stray of Spala was found inside the dwelling. He was wounded during the siege on Hawksburn and abandoned by his comrades. The location of their spoils he's offered to share, that is, should we spare his life. Uh, you know what, he is a bandit. By a cur of his sort, I will not be bribed. Hang him. There we go, and morale goes up to the max, which is nice. Um, can we enter this, this farmstead? There's a puzzle piece over here. Uh, that rumble. What is it? Look out! Rock slide! Okay, do we fight the rock slide? In a flash, Reynard leapt for Meave, wresting the queen from her saddle. Had he arrived a moment later, Meave would have met her fate under a massive boulder. Alas, she was not yet free from danger. The entire escarpment had begun to collapse onto the road, along with the temple wall that stood atop it. The screams of crushed and dying soldiers cast a somber shadow upon the queen, yet she needed to collect her wits and act quickly to establish control over her unit. Destroy all boulders. Puzzle, special rules, short battle and custom deck. Fair enough. The battle will last only one round. Some battles are subject to special rule sets where strength alone is not enough to win. To be victorious you must complete specific goals on the exploration map. Such battles are always marked with a puzzle icon. 
In this particular puzzle battle, your goal is to destroy all the boulders before they reach Meef's row. The bluff crumbles! Fall back! Save yourselves! Okay. The brakes, the wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. Okay, so play the Wagenberg on the melee road. What's this? Ah, okay. Um, let's remove that. And what can Meave do? If there's a boulder on this road, Meave loses the battle. Okay. So let's put the Wagenberg down there. What now? Um, let's end the turn. I'm wondering. So that's okay. So they all have timers. So in one turn. This will drop down one row. Okay, fair enough. So let's... I don't have a leader this time. So let's end the turn. Summon your comrades, damn it. Chop, chop. Far reach from a whip. So... Do the boulders actually destroy the units as well? Play an arbalist on the melee road and attack the boulders closest to me. Yeah, that was exactly what I was gonna do. To your command. There we go. And then our next Arbalist should be able to destroy the boulder. So let's end the turn. This is getting creepy. Play another Arbalist on the melee row. Yeah, of course. Of course. Number of units on their row. This, this doesn't count as a unit, right? Ah, so the Arbalest has a reach of two. So that's why I couldn't attack the back row from the back row. That is interesting. I'm a monster. So, I need to destroy it now, because otherwise I'm boned. <laughs> so now, one boulder is gonna drop down, I think. So that means four. So it does count as a unit. So that means if I put another Arbalest down, Larry we should be able to destroy the boulder the in wagon. one go. Yeah. Use the wagon now. Of course we will. So now we can actually use, because we have five armor, so that means five damage on the boulder. And there we go. Uh, Puzzle completed. We've come through, Raynard. I thank you. There we go. We saved Meave. We saved the queen. Well, we the saved ourselves, because we're collapsed. playing as the queen. The fortress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's now what we can do here. We ride on. Yes, indeed. That looks... It looks like something caused it. Or maybe it's a stupid idea to put a wall next to a cliff like that. There we go. A bit more wood and gold. Now let's enter this place first. Because um, I think we need to go... That's not what I wanted to do, but well, while we're here, let's check out the workshop and see if we can do anything else. Increases the number of trinkets... You know what I'm gonna save up? Uh, doesn't seem like we need anything else. Yeah, the mess tent is fine, so let's just get out again. And then let's check the map, because I think we need to head towards that area, probably. This seems to be the, the estate of uh, Lord Clayton. But we have a bit of area down here as well we haven't checked out just yet. So let's do that first. So first the farm. Seems like there's just a few materials over here. And now we can move on. Then we have two people a discussing. A cart okay. loaded with a heap of hay came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear the road! Bellowed Count Caldwell, standing in his stirrups. Make way for your queen! The peasants obediently turned their cart into the roadside nettles. As she passed, Meave glanced towards it and froze. Atop the hay bale lay a badly wounded man gripped by fever. The thick, sweet stench of rot wafted from his bandaged legs. Gods. Who did this to him? Meave asked. Bandits? Nay, nee, milady, replied the cartman. Twere a beast. Okay, a beast. Out to the east, down Wetterton Way, lies a boneyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant continued. Clayton was setting snares round about there. Came running back to us. Drenched in blood, rattling on about a long-haired wench come climbing out a grave. We've taken him to the good sisters of Melitale here on bridge. Perhaps they can help him. I'm certain they can. And will, replied the Queen. Though just looking at the wounded wretch, she knew he'd expire before nightfall. God speed you on your journey. 
The Queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, Your Grace? Caldwell asked. One of those freaks should make short work of the monster. Until freaks, we apprehend freaks. the bandits, I shan't allow a single soul to leave our company. Even on such an important mission as finding a witcher. Meave replied. Any who did would be captured at once. But, if fate brings us near Wetterton, perhaps we'll see to this monstrous Harridan ourselves. Your Grace... We've only just fought beasts and scarcely escaped with our lives. This she-beast will take a silver sword. Magic formulae. Yet a dozen arbalists will have to suffice, the Queen said, calmly but firmly. And please, Caldwell, do stiffen your spine a bit. Now onward. Stiffen your spine a bit. I do love Meave. Here ends the main part of the tutorial. From now on, you're on your own. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Here we have another signpost. Just activating that. There we go. That took a bit of time. And I'm just going to head left first. I'll show them trophy. There's trophies in this game. Of course. Lovely. There we go. Wood and gold. Okay. Hello, dwarf. Yeah. Okay. The folk are shite. That's, that's not a, a good start. I knew there was a cave around here maybe it's best to go into Wetterton first and now we have the graveyard so let's go to Wetterton to see if we can find anybody here there's a lot of commotion apparently as they neared Wetterton the Queen ordered her company to halt she then sent men to the town for supplies those sent returned more quickly than she'd assumed they would. Their satchels empty, their mounts foaming at the mouth. Your Majesty, the townsfolk have gone right mad. Herded all the elves and dwarves at Market Square. Tis a slaughter. Oh. The Queen knew well that if she failed to intervene, the town's streets would flow with non-human blood. A pogrom. Just as she knew her meager force might not subdue an enraged crowd. So that's eerie familiar as uh, if you've read the books, because in the books, because uh, spoilers for the books, just skip, skip like 30 seconds or something, because uh, Geralt dies in one of those pogroms um, in the books. So that is uh, horrible. So intervene and defend the non-humans, move on without entering Wetterton. Let's intervene. What is your command, Your Grace? Reynard's question pierced the silence. What can it be, dear friend? Answered the Queen then spurred her mount and rode off towards the town. Her troops followed, running as fast as their legs would carry them. When they passed inside the town gate, they saw corpses lining the gutters. Meave realized she had arrived too late to prevent a tragedy. The crowd was drunk on blood. Its rage would need to be quelled with an iron fist. Okay, so that means battle. Unfortunately, this was not Lyria's first pogrom, nor its last. Although the wars between humans and the elder races had ended decades past, elves and dwarves were still painfully aware how quickly rumor can turn to hatred. It does not take long before pitchforks and flails are taken to the streets, and the cobblestones are stained crimson with blood. So we get a shortened battle where we need to eliminate all foes. So it's a puzzle, which means we'll have... Step away, or see your heads Okay, so what does these guys do? Angry mob, every turn on turn start, set this unit's power equal to the number of angry mobs on this row. And we have a wagon perk, we know what that does. A war wagon, spawn two light infantry on the right. Uh, whenever a card appears on this row, and Reynard give one charge to units with depleted order. So, and this every turn so every turn this resets so let's put the wagon burg over there who started this i must know uh let's end the turn so much hatred we must put a stop to it so they will heal every single time so on two light infantry on the right and Reynard, can I actually use abilities before? No. 
Hmm, interesting. So let's do that. You can try to win them all, but you won't. Order move to the other road. Death wish damage a random enemy by two. We'll see, we'll see. We have three armor now, so we're gonna have to see what happens next. So that just moves it around. Because if I do my attack now, it won't do anything because they heal in the next turn. So if I just put Reynard over here. Company! We will strike the largest clusters! Disperse the mob! And then we can move these back because we have regained our order. And then we have six damage on the entire row. Oh wow, that was cool. Okay, there we go. Puzzle completed. Thought I was gonna have to do, redo that, but apparently not. Happily, Neve restored order without suffering any losses. Reynard then learned that a nobleman's ire had triggered the violence. Ire at having discovered a theft. Suspicion fell on the non-humans he employed. He accused them, they protested, and the row soon engulfed the town. But there's something else, Your Grace. Reynard gestured towards an aged man who stood grieving, his face in his hands. I've witnesses who claim the strays of Sparler are the thieves. Though the tragedy seemed the result of a misunderstanding, justice would have to be served. Those responsible for the slaughter would need to be punished. The question was, how severely? Okay. Have the instigators hanged? Order your men to whip the guilty parties. I mean, if you read the books, the, the, the way the pogroms are described are just horrifying. And it's similar to this, because of course a lot of them have already died. But the way people just go mad on blood, this should not happen again. So, as hard as it is, let's have the instigators hanged. I cannot accept, said the queen. The vipers who called for the slaughter. They will hang. The rest... Majesty! A townswoman fell to Meave's feet. Mercy, please. To a words taken wrong, a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? To don another's cape, pay out insufficient change. These are misunderstandings. What happened here was criminal, and you'll be punished as criminals. There we go. A misunderstanding, but of course they just... Brutally murdered a bunch of non-humans. The condemned were hanged at once, without regard to the protests of kith and kin. Those non-humans who had managed to hide and survive made a most generous donation in gold to bolster the Queen's force. I'd Ooh. like to say Wetterton's small melting pot of races lived on in harmony. Yet alas, I'm not in the habit of propagating untruths. Damn, that's harsh. But at least we got something from that. And yeah, that's actually cool that the town changes depending on your decision. So now there's actually somebody hanging here. So let's loot this place a bit. And check the notice board. To add a few more things to our map. There we go, the point of interest. I was hoping to find somebody to help us with the she-devil. Probably a wraith. You hanged good folk today, ma'am. And for what? Because they came to the end of their tether? Uh, no, because you just... You hanged good folk ...slaughtered today. people. Um, let's see. Before we head into either the cave or the graveyard, I think I'm going to go at that lower road down there. There seems to be something else down here. I can't go over here, but how do I reach that? Okay, so there's clearly Those somebody bandits, here. Dressed as demons they was. Horns on their heads and pig snouts instead of noses. Okay. Some bandit. Okay, okay, okay. The strays. So we know about the strays. No need to gather that any further. So seven troops over here. And it doesn't look like we can go any further through here. Just checking the map really quickly. It seems as though we should be able to cross that bridge. Aha, and that's the main quest, okay. So, there's also this estate over there. 
Where should I go first? Let's go across the bridge and clear out this lower area first. And then we'll see if we can't find anything of use down there before we head into monster territory. So, across the bridge. Nothing seems to be happening here. And then there's a castle, but we don't need to go there just yet. Hello, good sir. Milady the March has taken its stroll on the good men. On the men. A brief sojourn at this inn would do them good. Nothing improves morale quite like live music and a frosty mug of Visiman champion. There we go. Let's give the, the people what they want. The troops what they want. So we have a puzzle and a question mark. Nothing I can do with these guys, I think. The nuptials? Who's nuptials? There we go, fast travel. Add a bit more stuff. 2,500. I think I might actually be able to upgrade something here. So there we go. Training grants provides access to the training grants and enables you to recruit new combat units in the command tent. Could also upgrade the workshop. I think going with the training grants as quickly as possible is good because those upgrades give us uh, extra stuff after each battle. So we gain extra gold and extra recruits after each battle if we go further over there. So let's just upgrade the training grants and we get access to Delirian Arbalest Plus. So deploy a damage unit by the number of cards on this row, including self, and loyal damage a random enemy nearest to self by two. And then Regiment Drummer, play the top blitz unit from your deck when ordered and one charge. And then the Rivian Pikeman, summon all copies of this unit. Because I think, okay, so I can make one extra of that now. Can I do anything here? So I'm still at the max of my stuff. So I think I'll just leave it as is then. So that leave, let's leave it as it is and exit camp. I will just check out honey for the groom and his lovely bride. <laughs> this Ready wedding. Life prove at least as sweet. Let's let's check out this wedding then. Because that sounds interesting. The queen at the wedding of a random peasant. Smoke bites at my eyes. Strays have set something else ablaze, I wager. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Okay. That doesn't sound uh, good. Let's just quickly go around here. Ooh, cows! Make sure no one sees you. People are already talking. Your beloved bee. Okay. Let's uh, check out this cow puzzle. The peasants of Lyria have a saying, flock a cow and her ilk, you'll get blood in place of milk. Young herdsmen, naive enough to ignore such folk wisdom, rarely live to a ripe old age. Eliminate the deranged cow, do not let any other cows perish, and use your leader's ability. So that's of course an easter egg in, uh, from The Witcher 3, because uh, when the game released, the well, a lot of people just started farming the cows and killing off all the cows uh, to just loot them constantly. And the developers at CD Projekt Red thought it would be funny to just uh, put in a little easter egg. So now if you kill too many cows at the beginning area of White Orchard, you actually get attacked by a court. So the ranged cow, after two turns on turn start, to destroy the lowest cow. If there are multiple damage, only one of them by one instead. If there are multiple, damage only one of them by one instead. Okay. So, play the top blitz unit from your deck. Damage unit by the number of cards on this row. Return an ally from the battlefield to the hand. So let's go with the drummer. Again and again and again. And... Does any of them have a loyal perk? Neve Warhammer! Move a card in your deck to the top and strengthen it by 3, then trigger all allies' loyal abilities. Okay, so I can choose a unit now. So that means I can actually use the Rivian Pikeman to put that up top. And then end the 
turn. So it's gonna keep damaging the lowest cow then. So I should do one damage. There we go, and I'm that should coming, I'm get coming. all the pikemen there. How often can I use that? Cooldown on three. What's the... Do not let any other cows perish. Does that mean that it stops when we actually get one cow down? Maria! So let's deploy that thing. And that gives us seven damage. And then let's end the turn. Now, the next turn he's going to do something. So if I recharge... Discipline shall bring us the victory. drummer. So the drummer gives us play the top blitz unit from your deck. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. And with one extra, that should be fine. So move a card in your blah, 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 blah. I can use that again if I want to, but I'm not going to. So let's play the top blitz unit, which is an arbalest. One gold. And that should kill the deranged cow. There we go. Okay. Well, it's not as hard as I thought it would be. This card has been added to your army. It can be found in the command tent. Decoy. Okay. Okay. So... I think with that done... Let's just grab a few more supplies. But I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. When we get back... We'll be going into that wedding down there and see what we can do with those, how we can help out those people. Because I'm assuming we're going to help them out. Especially after that horrible pogrom we just cleared out. Um, and I found a little side quest with the cows. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye. Yeah,